Hey guys, welcome back, it's Kylie. So today I have my August wrap up and I had, I didn't read as many books as I wanted to read, but I had a fantastic quality, quality reading month for you guys. The books that I read have been some of my favorites all year, have been amazing. So let's just get into what I read. I read a total of well, four books and I'm halfway through one at the moment, so I'll, I'll speak to you about that as well. So I've already spoken to you and done a book talk about The Eye of the Sheep by Sophie Laguna. Um, and this is about a boy that's got autism and his father's an alcoholic, his mother's really obese, and she's the, he's homeschooled and he's looking after Jimmy. And it's about their father's alcoholism and about how Jimmy navigates through the world and it's him as a six-year-old and as a nine-year-old as well. And five out of five stars, one of my favorite books all year. I absolutely love this and an Aussie author too. Yeah, represent. So super, super stoked with that book. Absolutely loved it. The next book I have for you guys is Morgan Rhodes, Falling Kingdoms. And everybody's been talking about this and everybody has been loving this as well. And I can understand the hype because it's just been absolutely fantastic. So this is about um, three kingdoms and one of them's really rich and plentiful. One of them's frozen in ice and one of them's really poor and the soil is dying and they end up going to war. So there's a lot of, it follows different characters perspectives throughout the book and it, it's got a lot of magical elements to it as well and there's so many plot twists and so many character deaths and it's fantastic. It's so gripping. It's so fast paced. I didn't think I'd really like this because I wasn't a fan of Throne of Glass. I really don't like Throne of Glass. So everybody kept comparing it to that and I thought I really, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but absolutely loved this one. So obviously the next book I read was Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. Oh, oops, four and a half stars, five stars. This one was so much more fast paced, so many twists that I didn't see coming, things that I had to drop the book and go, did that just happen? I just need to call somebody, did that happen? Do you believe this? I don't believe this. It was so, so good. So this one got a five star and I really, really enjoyed it. And of course, the next book that I read was, oh no, it's got a rip, hmm. is Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rose. Bruce, don't even think about it, mate. Let's see if he comes in front of the camera. And this book I gave a four stars. It was still absolutely fantastic and I really, really loved it. I just didn't find it as fast paced as the other two were and it was a little bit slow in parts and took me a little bit longer to get through, but still absolutely fantastic series. I'm really loving it right now. And the fifth book that I'm sort of halfway between, I needed, after all that fantasy and stuff, I needed a bit of a, just a light fluffy kind of read and I got Never Always Sometimes by Addie, what is it? Al said and so far I'm really enjoying it it's super funny it hasn't got the best reviews but I find it really funny and cute it's about a guy and a girl that are best friends and one's been pining over the other for years and they have a list of things that they will never do in high school and then just before they go off to college they start going through this list and try and do everything on this list and I'm really enjoying it the main character the female what's her name Julia is really funny so I'm really, really liking it and I'm halfway through, so hopefully I'll finish this in the next day or so. But I definitely would recommend it. It is really, really good. So that's everything that I read in the month of August. Uh, let, me go, let me know what you guys read, what your favorite book was, and um, what you guys got up to in the month of August. So I hope that was okay and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!